Hey there guys, today I have a tutorial that was requested by a YouTube friend, of which name I cannot pronounce, but if you want to check out his channel, click here. And pretty much the effect looks like this. It is a kind of a gradient from the center with a text um, overlay, um, and this is for one of the videos that he's making. So first you want to do is open up Final Cut Express and go to Video Generators down here on the effect, uh, Effects tab in the top left. And come down here to where, you, where it says Render, the Render folder. And there's going to be a file called Gradient and it will look like this. So take that and drag it onto your timeline. And I know what you, I'm saying, it's not quite from the center, it's more from left to right, but that's totally fine. Uh, double click it to make sure it's selected come here to controls and where it says gradient type um, hit um, that and hit um, radial center and the, um, here we can see it, it doesn't move at all but you know it's just kind of a from the center a, gra a gradient from the center so make sure that's um, selected again come down here to start and this little fold down tab and you want to hit the keyframe button and bring this B slider all the way down to zero and what this is going to do is just make the whole entire clip have nothing in it um, by way of a gradient. So after this, um, put the playhead to the very end of the clip and hit the keyframe button again and then bring up the uh, B slider all the way or to whatever you want. And if we can scrub through this, we can see it kind of starts from nothing and it grows to bigger. <laughs> so that's how we get the background. Now I usually find that when it comes to um, text, um, Final Cut Express really isn't that good. It just kind of looks cheap and fake and a little bit kind of pixely around the edges. So um, a program that comes with Final Cut Express is um, LiveType and it's um, for you know gener uh, generating text and whatnot. So let's see, it's right there. We can open this on up. And yours, mine, yours might look a little bit different from mine because I've got um, also Final Cut Studio. So let's just um, call this Smile. So that's the text that we're going to have. Um, come up and you know, make it say whatever you want. Um, but a good thing to remember to do before you do really anything is come up here to Edit and Project Properties and um, hit the um, select the size of the clip that you're working with um, so it kind of matches. Um, uh, 1080 so it matches the uh, same size as um, the footage that you're working with because let's say if you know if you're working in a HD like 16 by 9 aspect ratio but you um, export this in uh, 4.3 4 so a standard definition one it's gonna um, look all stretched out when you um, export the final project so yeah make sure that's um, properly selected edit Project properties 1920 by 1080 is what I got it set to. So that's good. So here we have it says smile. Um, you can just choose whatever, but make sure what it, um, whatever it is, it's at the uh, highest size it can be. Um, just so that it's you know nice and high quality, and when you blow it up later, it doesn't look you know crappy. So you know I you know change around the. Uh, color by coming to attributes and color change it to whatever you want or have some fancy styling um, but I'm not going to do any of that um, just for tutorial purposes so I'm going to come over here to file and render movie but before I do that I forgot to also add one more thing as you can see here on um, the clip in Final Cut um, Express it's 10 seconds long so we want to make um, this also 10 seconds long so let's come back here to live type and let's set the output at the out point I should say at um, 10 you know 10 seconds so I'll just do that real quick duration 10 seconds it can go longer than 10, uh, 10 seconds just nothing shorter than 10 seconds so let's put the end point at 10 seconds all right, now we can come up here to file and render movie. <laughs> Forgot about that. So let's just call this smile for 
to tutorial and hit save. Now this is going to render 300 frames of smile. <laughs> kind of sounds weird, but after this we're going to um, take this into Final Cut Express and put it in the timeline. So here it is, we can play it. It looks pretty nice. And if you look at the edges, it's not too pixely. But you can always um, change this around by adding a, a blur effect. So don't save unless you wanted to save it. And here is our smile. So let's take this and bring it into Final Cut Express and put it on the layer right above the um, gradient. So there it is. Now obviously that looks pretty cheesy. I mean like we didn't have the kind of gradient come in and then that come in, but still, you know, that's just kind of like boom. So what we can do to overcome this is we can add a cross dissolve. So video, um, yeah, video fill. No, video transitions. My bad. And bring that. Uh, go to like dissolve. We can add a uh, cross dissolve. Um, put that in there and make it a little bit longer. And this is gonna have, have it slowly fading over time. Um, but one thing I would recommend doing with this, um, because it's kind of like the gradient grows, is you can also make the text grow by putting the playhead at the very beginning of the clip, making sure it's selected um, in the viewer, and hit this keyframe button at the very um, bottom right hand side. And then we can drag this clip size by grabbing one of these ends and bring it down to pretty much nothing. So about right there. Now we can move the playhead a little bit further to let's say about right here where the gradient um, almost ends. Hit the keyframe button again and then we can drag up the uh, size of the image uh, about the original size, let's say about right there. Alright, now let's render this. Alright, now let's watch this. So um, that's pretty much how to create a kind of text with gradient background. Um, you know, you can always play around with some of the um, cross dissolves and fade in and fade out for the uh, smile, or you know, change around the size of one of the clips and and the speeds. Um, but I'll I'll let you do that all on your own. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, have a nice day.